We've gone from 10 stallions last year to 13 stallions this year. And um, we have our first year horse who's sort of, you know, when you get in a, an exciting first year horse such as Knight of Thunder, you know, he's the Guineas winner that won the lock in. He's the son of Dubawi. You know, he's fresh in people's minds because he only raced last year. So those new horses bring a great bit of excitement. We've done Approach, who's still fresh in people's minds. Tremendous race horse, you know, won the Coventry, won the Dewhurst, we went on as a three year old to win the Classic in the Guineas. Um, so we've a lot of exciting horses that are recently retired. We have our old stalwarts such as Cape Cross. Obviously, he's coming off the back of a huge year in 2015, having sired Golden Horn to win the, the Derby and the Ark. So it's fantastic for, for people to be able to see him. We've Tia Filo. Um, again, he's had a, a huge year last year. Jim Bulger obviously uh, helped us out with that, having trained Playscock to win two Group 1s. I was down with Jim the other day, and, and she's in good order. So we're looking forward to an exciting year with her next year. Um, so we've got a huge range of horses. Hopefully, the ones I mentioned might be more appealing to the racing fans, but we've got a lot of of um, new horses from Australia this year and um, talented race horses group one winners you know standing for less than 10,000 so from the commercial side of things we hope we've a good spread there hopefully something for everyone and I suppose a key element of this as well apart from the commercial side of things that you know the stud farms they want to try and generate some business for themselves we want to try and bring the younger race goer and introduce them at this level as well let them see the farms let them see what goes on in a farm and see I presume there's going to be foals here there's yearlings here you have the whole gambit here really absolutely and it's all always a you know certainly a focus of mine that you know the the racing that the public see they see the racing they see it you know maybe on the the racing channels etc there's a particular focus on the gambling side of things but there's a whole bigger story to be told there's the people there's the horses there's the life cycle there's the you know the foals and the the development of the the young stock and all these fantastic things that many people are generally not exposed to so it's always interesting to see them they've been to the races they've seen what goes on there and then to come here and see the breeding side of things it sort of fills in the the picture for them you know 